You know what I'm saying? Whoever want to come jump on the train, we got room for the dark side. And you know my saying, carry the hell along. I, I'm half expecting the <sighs> Darth Perk coming in over I, I'm here just from saying, the dark I'm side. I'm just saying, hey, that was hey. my first essay. Hey, Perk, you on your way, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, That's all right with me. You, you put uh, the scene uh, casual Friday today, way. and you did your thing over there. Uh, I am... I'm impressed. This, ah. this, uh, you, 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 come on, get, oh, he had to show off the of shoes, though. Ah. Right, I see you with the red bottoms. Y'all hey. coming to the dark side? This I, is, this I is might a, be there. This, I might yeah. be there. This is a scary team. This is going to be a tough out for whoever has to Talk to him, Matt. in the playoffs. Um, John Moran has started a new culture. I was going to say they need a new nickname. You know, Zebo and those guys was grit and grind. This team needs a new nickname. We got to figure out what that is. But they've embodied his, his energy and his spirit. I mean, they played Ooh. well without him. So... This team is for real. They play on both sides of the ball uh, during the streak. You know, they're top six in both categories overall, 11th in defense. But I love this team, and I love Job Morant. I mean, hey, hey, look, I, I knew Matt came in dressed like a preacher on Easter Sunday, but I didn't know he was going to give that good gospel. <laughs> well, Perk, you're also going to appreciate bringing Zach Lowe back into the conversation what, here. Where at? That Job Morant took top billing in Zach's weekly 10, column, 10 things column. Why is that, Zach? I mean, I agree with everything Matt said. The guy is audacious, fearless. He is the spirit and the soul of that team. But why he was in my column? Because that block where he looked like yeah. Superman taking off from Earth against the Lakers, that block was a highlight play. It was all over the media. He's been doing this all year in less glamorous plays. Look at That's the low man on the pick and roll. Normally, you see big men or big wings doing that. D'Angelo Russell, get that out of here. And you would have done that at the Carl Towns, too. <laughs> and by the way, if Ja commits a turnover, oh, yeah. you watch better out. watch out. Get your yeah. side view mirrors. Get your rear view mirrors because you are not getting a layup. Steph Curry, get out of here with that. Look at that verticality. That's Roy Hibbert level verticality from a point guard and this is just like I don't even have words for this he I, look at that he's above the square he's still going up he's still going up as he gets there he does look like Superman and we've seen him do something like that before Perth probably remembers him doing something like that before look at this Murray State here he comes different hairdo whoa he is going to hit his head on the backboard. Watch out, Job. Please do not hit your head on the backboard going for one of these chase down blocks. This is ridiculous, but these guys will tell you much better than I could tell you, Matt and Perk. When you see your superstar player grinding like that on defense, throwing his body in the way of freight trains, putting his body on the line, that's part of setting the culture for your team. When you talk to coaches, other players, co-stars, role players, when they see the number one guy doing stuff like that, and it's not always stuff that makes Sports Center. It's stuff mm. like, oh, he's just at the rim. He doesn't even get a shot block. That sets the tone. I wanted to add one thing. He Not only is he setting the culture on the court, but off the court. He's letting these fans know we're not accepting no other jerseys in the <laughs> grindhouse but our jerseys. You know what I mean? He has fans turning in their jerseys for free. Jaron Jackson and John Moran jersey. So he's setting the tone, the culture. <laughs> I love it. Day. And Memphis is scary. I know. I, was trying, I was going through G words in my head from grit and grind to grit and go get a chip. Like, what, what are we, what, what's, what's going to be the well, well, moniker? I, I just know, that, says I I just know it's the dark side. But here, here's the thing, another thing about Ja. Like, I, I, I talk about him, the way that he talks his noise and he backs it up and he tell, he warns the league that <laughs> I'm not afraid of anyone, but it's a ripple effect. We saw a couple of games ago, we saw Desmond Baines and LeBron James exchanging words. Like, you know, so Desmond Baines probably wouldn't have never had that type of confidence if his leader wouldn't yeah. be leading the way that he does. This is why I say, man, if you're not rolling with this young killer, you got a problem. The Grizzlies were <laughs> not on anybody's top three teams, but I imagine to win a championship that we just discussed at the top of the show. I imagine, though, if we expanded it, just like one or two teams more, if we were oh, talking top five, we, we might see some grit and grind. Month, Welcome to the dark side. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.